Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? Carl Norman from Carl Norman dot co dot u k. Why do I push my website so much? Because I just love people going there and seeing exactly what's on there. Because there is lots and lots of content. So if you've not been over there lately, then do me a favour, head over and have a little look. Okay, so today what I wanted to do was just have a little bit of a natter with you with regards to not so much maybe the law of attraction or the secret or whatever. Um, basically just wanted to say to you that nothing's going to come from your comfort zone. So your comfort zone might be sort of just sitting, waiting, manifesting good things to happen because I remember watching, I watched The Secret, actually, I did watch the video, and um, and I got the book, and I read the book as well, and I swear to you, this is this this is what I was like, I sh honestly, this is the God's honest truth, say, this is the book, I read the book, and then I was like going, okay, where's, 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 where's the bit in, in the back that says, this is what you've got to do, you've got to take massive action, now, Paula McNulty had, had mentioned something to me before, about it does say something in there with regards to that you have to put work into achieving your goal, but that the work should be enjoyable. So let me just say one little word to that, okay? Two syllables, bullshit, okay? That's exactly what I'm going to say to you because sometimes to achieve something, and this is what I said right at the beginning about getting out of your comfort zone, there's going to be things that you're just not going to want to do. Take, for example, I've done a boot camp this week, okay? As you know, I'm doing a boot camp now on a Tuesday and a Thursday. I've got a morning class starting, and I've obviously got the evening class. The morning class is obviously starting on February the 6th. So, we train outside. Is that comfortable? No. Is it comfortable for me? To be fair, I'm not really bothered. I'm just get, I am getting out of my comfort zone to be outside. I don't particularly like getting hailed on or rained on or the wind hitting me side on with, with the hail at the same time. I genuinely don't. But I do it because one, I know what I'm getting from it. Okay, that's important. I've set a plan. I've set a structure. I know what I'm getting back. I am getting financially rewarded for obviously doing this program. I'm also getting a physical benefit because I tend to do a little bit of training with them at the same time, not massive amount, but I'm out there, I'm getting warm, I'm moving around, it's physical activity. The other side of the coin is, is that people are getting results. That moves me massively because I am passionate about people getting results in their lives. So, is it rewarding? Yes. Is it work? Yes, it is. Am I leveraging my time, which is totally something and other, which a lot of personal trainers just do not get. Um, I'm leveraging my time massively to try and get as many people as I possibly can so that I'm not spending a massive amount of time outside. By the by, the people who are coming and actually working on the program and actually getting out of their comfort zone, they've got to do the work because if they sat there on the couch manifesting themselves going, right, I genuinely need to lose lose weight. I've just thought of a funny story there. I'll tell you, I'll come back to that in a second. Oh, I need to lose weight, so I won't eat this and I won't eat that. And what they're doing is they're putting won'ts and can'ts and nots in the way instead of thinking, well, if it do go, and I do get rained on, or I do get hailed on, but the bottom line is, is that I know that oh, Carl's going to motivate me, I'm going to see everybody else, I'm going to be inspired by other people's results and how they feel, they're going to obviously, they, they, they're going to keep me up, they're going to keep me where I need to be. And that's a constant thing, motivation is constant, okay, it's not something that you've just got to do once in a while. The reason why I'm smiling is... um is remember those plates that you used to be able to stand on and it would shake you and you would lose the weight? That was also the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard in all my life because unless you're eating properly, unless that you... Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here. They don't work. They simply don't work. Not on their own. You cannot go out and eat as many calories as you want and then just go and stand on a plate, okay? And you will lose weight. It doesn't work. If you actually going out there and you're standing on a plate for half an hour or whatever and then you're eating really well and you're doing more exercise and your calorie count is down then yeah fair enough okay 
Gone on to a little bit of a tangent here on totally a different subject. Let's get down to the bottom line. The bottom line is, right, is that if you want to achieve something in your life, and I've said it a million times before, structure, plan, action, okay? Or the other way around, thought process, structure something, plan it out when you're going to do something, find out how long it's going to take you to achieve that goal, get your ass in gear, do what needs to be done to achieve your goal. It's not rocket science. You don't need a formula. You do not need... Guys, just open the front door, go for a walk around the block, come back again, watch what you eat, take it down a little bit. There's your action plan. You've took action. Action. You've reduced what you eat. You've reduced the shite that you eat. And what you've done is that you've gone for a walk to expend energy. Boom. There you go. You want to take it a little bit further? Then obviously that you can, but you don't need to. You just need to get that plan in your head. It makes me laugh because people just think that it's really, really difficult to, to either lose weight or to do something within the life. And it so isn't. Listen, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I've just come out to a brilliant meeting with a guy uh, called Martin Gabriel. Been busy today. I've had a few meetings uh, from Formby Fitness. We're doing a sip and sample um, taster session in the first week in February. Anyone's interested? Let me know. Guys, have a good one. Adios. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.